Hey, followers of Villies. Still struggling for survival. I'm really regretting my stupidity in getting so many warriors killed already. I, I managed to keep them all alive. We'd be in such a better position. Oh, well. Just going to go all in on the clay. So check on things here in the village. We've got... Uh, okay, that's actually really good. We've got vines and cane coming. At this point, I think we can probably move off the vines and the cane. Which really we only use to make gathering tools. Excellent. We've got more structures coming. I think I might actually benefit more from just moving those gatherers out and then getting just more clay. And we can just chuck all that clay into buildings. I think so. I reckon that we have enough of the uh, twine and cane for all the purposes we could need it for. Let's see, we'll halve the wood supply. And we'll halve the food as well. At some point I can actually have some of these gatherers just sit and crank out food recipes. day now another structure will be completed excellent and we attracted a hunter interesting hunters feel at home in the wilderness they have a range of skills especially useful during hunting challenges okay strength and great perception used in as a tactic in many challenges including hunting and intellect traps stealth look at that stealth that's amazing so she's going to be able to make one of the warriors act first decent gathering gathering Animal kingship is nice. Hunting. Marty Suda. And she even comes with her own bit of gathering. Well, built-in gathering skill. Which is really nice. She comes with bow and a pike. Decent bit of armor. What a great character. Okay, I'll tell you what. Let's build her, her own gathering tools. Just to further increase her gathering from... I think it's like a 4 up to a 7, I would imagine. I don't want you to burn the wood yet. That's fine. Just keep burning the coal. Awesome. Just eight more days for the improved smithy. Uh, barracks next. Next, we'll knock down the wooden barracks. And eventually I'll replace this wooden pasture with a clay pasture. Look, all the, all the buildings are clay. Great. Although I think this one might be granite. Yeah, quartz. Two and two. This one is clay and, and quartz. Okay. Also two and two though. What did I say I wanted to get uh, buildings wise? Oh yes, cabbage patch. Cabbage field. What are the requirements for that I wonder? 25 clay, which should be quite easy to get our hands on. Random food and some wood. Nice. And how much clay do I need? Probably like, hang on, let's go, hand that in now because then, oh wait, I'll, oh wait, as soon as the blacksmith is finished, I'll go drop off whatever clay I've gotten here and we can use that. Marty Suda, what do I need from you? I need vegetables. Yeah, it's not going to give him a hand. It's odd. I feel like we're not making progress in terms of the story and in terms of getting weapons and fighting and experience, but economic-wise, I think we're doing okay. Just because our production is kind of taking off. So 15 damage. So she can do like 7 damage when she enters battle. Right here, hang on, so... 
Did I merge the parties? I did. That's actually incorrect. Sophia, Bogodara. Uh, I might leave Matisuda. Honestly, I don't need the vine, though, I don't think. Unless any of that is used for a recipe in the cabbage field. No, it's not. Clay. Uh, vegetables. And wood. Iron. Attract children four. Great. Can I improve that number by putting steel? No. How about by using cane instead? Attract children six? That's way better than attract child. Yeah, I want children 100%. That is amazing. Can I use gold here? Okay, no, that doesn't. The catalyst doesn't seem to make a difference. No, I need the wood. She's the cane. Nice. Let's just make sure there's no way I can get that number any higher. Nope, that'll be fine. Wow, I didn't know you can get the number that high. And 23, look at that. It'll take a, a little old while to, to produce it, but... Stunning work, people. Stunning, stunning work. Let's give Expedition 2, uh, let's say, 10 days worth, or no, we'll go half and half. If memory serves, if I go a little bit more to the south, I can get uh, wood and clay at the same time. Look at that, we've got loads of food. Uh, where was that clay that I saw? A clay and food that way, but it's clay and wood that I need. That's over here. The other one's a bit far away. So if we're already going to be getting vegetables there, then I don't need vegetables created there. Just get, keep bringing in the cane. I wonder if the bonuses from the cabbage field stack, but oh no, it wouldn't. You can only build one cabbage patch, of course. Three skeletons, that's not so bad. Pekoslava. Four days, 13 days. Here's an interesting question. When we are finished with that barracks, do I continue cranking out pastures? I think so. What other building could be quite useful? A palisade could be quite good, but I don't want to be... Oh, oh here we go. A herbalist hut. 100% I need a herbalist hut. It's going to give us herbs, and if we get affected by the disease uh, event... Nice, some heavy armor and a pike. Like I said, if we get attacked by the disease uh, event, we have a better chance of holding it off. No armor whatsoever. Pretty terrible. And just in terms of what we need here, if we are going to go for light armor and then heavy armor, we'd need three skilled points and we would need Another two there to get scaled leather, and we would need steel, so in short, we know we're close to that. I think once we get dark wood and steel, then we can go swords and start crafting some dark wood uh, weapons. Bows and staves. The other option is to go jewelry and go up this side of the uh, crafting tree. To give everybody very specific bonuses from their uh, jewelry and then just hope that the weapons we scavenge are going to be uh, effective enough but I don't think that's very smart I reckon I need to build the very best that I can You're overweight already wow you guys are loaded I'll tell you what 
go drop your weapons off because you know we've got enough vision of what's around us that if they do happen to come along some baddies you can just run away just purely a gathering mission after all sake go away nice there's the blacksmith that's gathering values 11 and 10 it's fantastic just keep pumping out these pastures days eight days any day now we might start getting some beasts we've got a few structures now that are made with clay and have the uh, attract beast ability on them 100 days coming up or 100 turns at least you lose your footing and fall into a really deep ditch you quickly realize you are not alone and that you have fallen into a viper's nest uh, there's no way we can successfully win a three skull fight. It's just auto resolve the two skull. Before the snakes attack. I'm pretty damn sure that we would have gotten some extra bonuses in terms of loot if we had managed to do that. The world, you see something of you spot the outlines of a tall, tall tower. Okay, suspicious tower. Place to see. Uh, see, I want to get out there and investigate, but I just don't have the warriors. If I build a palisade, I feel like I can justify having people staying in the village that aren't warriors. Pasture, barracks, pasture. In the meantime, I think we can replace the barracks with the clay barracks, which needs 65 clay. We have 34, so we'd need 26 in this expedition, which we much more than have. God, the abundance of clay here is it's crazy how, fo how lucky that is. Like a large pack. You tried to sneak up on the pack, oh no! You you lost the tracks. I didn't realize I wouldn't have a chance to actually run away. Oh my word, and my fighters are in the tactical side. Well, Zvatava, good luck. This sucks, these boars hit really hard. Damn, it's blunt damage. Can I get you above, what is that, 22? Nope, I don't have any support ally abilities here. Just first action, shield ally. Could get Malovid in here to do a little bit of a stab. It'll be six damage and plus thirteen. I think so. I think, mm, but if we shield him, then we won't. Uh, okay, a usable shield though. It's blunt damage as well. It's just scary. Um, I reckon just get in there. Uh, Vladimir, don't even get in there, you got no damage. Nice, oh, good kill, legit kill. Zoska. Okay, good. It didn't go for Zoska. I think we're fine. Yes, lads. We've won. You have defeated the boar pack. Last bit of fur. Amethyst sword. That's rubbish. I'll just break it down. Bones, meat. The leather is great. Well struck, men. Well struck. Okay, if this business, we are going to send out a group. 
Yeah, let's go do some fighting and do some exploring. I want to try to get some quests done. Mm, hang on, I'm doing it the wrong way. Let's go new expedition. So, multi suit of the hunter. I reckon she could be useful. Hang on, this is all wrong. It's all wrong. Body suitor, Snowbit, Svatava, Zoska, Malovit. Who do I need to stay here in the village? I think only three gatherers, because I can only gather three things anyway. Who's got the lowest gathering of the gatherers? That would be either Pekoslava or Viroslava. I'll take Viroslava. Let's go with wood we'd take for 20 days? 22 days. Some herbs. A wide variety of food treats. Yes. Just want to make sure that my guards who are on the expedition have the best weapons and armor. Amethyst sword. I think we can do better than that. Short sword. Yes, black sword. Just want to make sure you can actually carry it. Got a bunch of poison weapons, which is actually quite nice. Looks like everyone has worked out to be using sword and shield. Which is what I wanted. But I would prefer Svatava, who's got this heavy shadow armor. 16 armor, it has 3 shielding. I would have preferred it her, her to be using a two-handed warhammer, but I haven't found a decent one. Okay, two arms. It's a decent fighting force. Not a good one, but it's a decent one. Uh, Vladimir. I wonder, instead of getting... Let's go like that, and then Vladimir can start making uh, meals. But he doesn't actually have his own tools yet. Maybe give him his own tools. Oh, that's heavy. Four craft, but it's super heavy. Ah, it's fine. He's unlikely to need to carry weapons and armor while he's carrying his, his hammer. He's just, if he's got his hammer, he's in the village safe and he's crafting. Okay, stealth, strength, attractiveness, will. It seems fairly random. Undead filth, auto resolve, good. Break all this stuff down. Which armor did we get there? Seven armor. Nice. Seven armor dexterity. Six armor. All the other stuff just gets passed down. But I think I've got two piercing damages here. Fantastic. Ooh, 11 and 2. That needs to go on one of the frontline lads. That's actually one of the best bits of armor we have. Excellent. Now these one skulls we can probably defend um, ourselves. Nice. Let's hope we start getting some babies. Herbalist hut. Normally I would like to make it out of elven wood but I don't have it I wonder if I make it straight out of cane what's that gonna do for us and healing but no it doesn't attract any any races though and healing three and 19 research I think that's what I got to do I mean yeah fine even if it's just for the research loads of clay We've got eight buildings built. The hut will be nine. Then we'll re we'll replace the barracks with a clay barracks. Once this one's done, that's one turn away. It's actually pretty crazy to me that I got all this clay. Such good fortune. 
Even though we're struggling right now, I do think that uh, that clay that we've gotten is going to pay off for us. By a small group of rugged looking dwarves. Their faces are scarred as if they cut off their beards with their axes, which they probably did. Their clothes are worn and their eyes hungry. Only their weapons remain in perfect condition. The last remnant of their bygone heritage. One steps up and spits before speaking. My knee or will kick your teeth in now. <laughs> whoa, whoa, can we the talk about this? Spits and grunts at you. Less talking, more doing, my hummy friends. I got little patience for talk. I think our fighting is actually stronger than our social. Let's take them on. Four dwarf bandits. Begin combat. Okay, oh damn it. Only one of our warriors is on the left, and she's slightly wounded. The plus side, we've got two pierced attackings. Whoa, look at that damage and those hit points. <laughs> Oh, bollocks. 35, he does 37 damage. I can maybe survive a second attack if I shield him. That'll give her, give her 35 plus 2, 37. I'll still die. <sighs> Blast. Alright, if I go in like this, then that'll do some of the damage. But then Malovid will get wrecked. He'll get probably what? Oh no, he'll, he'll, he'll attack before it. Can I even do that? Okay, so the two piercing attacks, even though she'll only attack in the second combat phase. Oh my word. Oh my god, we're so dead. <laughs> we are so dead. Um. Are we? I think I should try to confuse if I can. Level 9, level 9. I can't do that. Do we support ally? I don't think so, no. First action. Extra 13 damage. So let's see. 23. He's already wounded, so 25 damage. It's 15. That's not going to do it. So he will get an attack off. So if our first action Verislava, the three of us might be able to take down the first Dwarf Bandit before he gets an attack. That's what I'm going to bet on. And this guy will get an attack. 31 damage is going to... It depends who he attacks first. It'll outright kill Verislava and... Oh, Jesus. At this point, I think, let's just get closer rather than shield ally. I need that damage that she's got. If only... She's our best fighter. She's on the wrong side of the bandit, of, of the board. I think going all in on that first bandit was worth it. So it's like 25%, oh my word, of all of their damage. Ow, good lord. Single-handedly almost killed both of our backline guys. 54 damage, here we go. Oh my word, that's terrifying. We're all gonna die. We're all fucked. problem is I can't actually withstand all this damage. So Snow, but I, I've, clearly you've got to go in the front line here. So 18 plus 3. Well, well it'll be 21 the first time. Oh god, that, that's one, that one's terrifying. I reckon we just get whatever we can on the field before he gets to attack. So in the first combat phase, this dwarf bandit attacks Snowbit. He attacks back. It attacks again and kills him. I should have used shield. Should have shielded Snowbit first. Uh, Twenty-one damage. If I give him first action, that'll be thirteen plus. That'll be fifteen plus. Twenty-one. It's thirty-six. It's just enough to kill him. No, you're supposed to attack the other bandit, you fool. Well, actually, well, no, that, that's actually better for us. Okay, I didn't realize the other bandit had such low hit points. You 
have to fight. Oh my god, everyone's weapons. wounded. You realize a few of them have somehow broken their weapons in the last act of dying, but perhaps some can be salvaged. These weapons look amazing. And we got Mithril, which is awesome. If I can make I can make like one amazing, maybe two amazing swords out of it. If I can get some fancy wood, I can combine it with the with the Mithril and make some pretty sick weapons. Let's just pray we can either make it back to the base today, which we can. I still think one, maybe multiples are going to die. And if they do die, I kind of worry that this amazing start I've been gifted is going to be wasted. I've totally cocked this up. I feel like I need lots of this cane. Might as well get started with the cooked meals. Let's go with veggies and fruit. Wood. And the other combo, which is meat and fruit and wood. Rabbit stew and lexo. And then whoever has the lowest crafting skills. So Svatava, Snowbit. I'm going to end the turn. Let's see how many of us die. No one. We all survived the first. First turn. Can we survive the next one? Oh my god. We've gotten away with murder. I think that's down to the fact that I've got two healers with decent medic skill. Oh wait, I should have actually increased the numbers on those uh, cooking recipes. How much wood? You use like, I'd say 20 wood for 11 rabbits to use. And 11 le Lexo. Your craft tools are ready soon. Herbalist's hut in three turns. It's going to start giving us herbs. Which, incidentally, we can use in our cooking for different recipes. Okay, we attracted something. A gatherer. Polar the gatherer. Welcome, Polar. Let's see about some crafting tools for you. Do we have any crafting tools sitting around? We do not. And quick check, does everyone actually have crafting tools? It should be everyone except for Polar. Stone Warhammer, a good quality 11 damage stone. Warhammer, not bad. Yeah, we do need more crafting tools. Gathering tools, excuse me. Look at all that clay. Thing of beauty. Uh, you can actually make your own tools. It'll take a little while, but go for it. What I need is warriors to join us. Warriors or children from the Cabbage Patch. Next. Did I do the smithy? I did. It's time to do the barracks. Clay, it's crazy. Tracked beast plus one, good. Uh, I wonder if I shouldn't. Yeah, I'd rather get the Esna to help do it quickly. I was wondering whether I shouldn't d d destroy the one wooden pasture that we have and make another clay one. Even destroy the quartz one and make four uh, clay pastures. Gathering wires. Yep, yeah, that looks all looks about right. Everyone's busy except, except for Svatava. What's up with the cooking? Can I do another recipe, I wonder? Uh, veggies plus 
meat? Have I combined meat and veggies yet? No. Okay, so Lexo, Bigos, and Rabbit Stew. We do 10 Bigos. Cool, we can have loads of prepared meals once we go out into the field. Bloody great. And then I actually built a, a set of crafting tools. Who was that for? It wasn't for Polo, we were making uh, gathering tools for her. Marty Suda? No. Who all is crafting? Vladimir? I mean, I don't mind. If you guys are making food, then it's fine. You can just have the three crafting. Almost got another research point. Oh, what is this? Oh wow, people within the village gain bonuses to speech, will, and intelligence. Children growing up can choose the sage class or have a chance to become a scholar or an inventor. Manger. Bu building a manger will help attracting beasts and train your people in animal kinship while they remain within the bounds of the village. Children growing up to be gatherers receive 10 more skill points. Holy crap. I think we've got to go for a manger. It's a bit unfortunate because we've already got... If I could have gone for that first, instead of going for that first, then I could have gone well then manger and then the children that grow up would be gatherers with extra 10 extra skill points that would have been way better than okay i realize i've done that wrong well that's something to remember for for future playthroughs and that makes sense actually going straight for a well so you get random resources yeah so you go one two three four because you want gatherers and warriors as soon as you can five When am I ever going to get started with this stuff? I wonder. And eventually I want at least one tier two crafting material or gathering material of each. I reckon we're going to go for dark wood and steel for the weapons and armor. Gathering tools, we've got vine and cane. I think I might go monster bone, fur, steel. And then the, the armor will be monster bone and steel. Weapons will be Dark wood and stone, and, uh, and steel, excuse me. Uh, once all these bits of food have, are finished crafting, we will send out the big expedition. We've got all, 13 people inside the village now, which is plenty. I reckon I want to go start completing all these quests that are piling up. Completing the quest is going to give us XP and research points as well. It's in decent loot. Although it is worth bearing in mind that if I'm going to send an expedition out, I'm going to need probably the palisade to defend the villagers who are going to be in the village because there's going to be no uh, warriors in the village. We'll need 80, uh, 80 clay. How much do we have in storage? Also, we should look at these weapons we got from the dwarves. Dragon Crusher, which is Dragon Bone and Silver. Unfortunately, it's bad quality because 4 damage, 3 leech is pretty cool. If it wasn't bad quality, that would be an amazing weapon. Wise Man's Arm, only 3 damage, that's no good. Willow's Tear, so 11 damage, 6 shielding, nice. Elven Wood and Silver, that's a two-handed sword, very nice. Dexterity is really good. Dexterity is not, how, is not only how nimble you are, but also increases your stealth. Which suggests to me that maybe the weapons I should be building out of elven wood and steel so I can get dexterity. Oh, elven wood and silver. Oh, right. Oh, because I think, seem to remember if, if you use elven wood and steel, you get attractiveness, which I don't particularly need on the warriors. Let's quickly just make sure all the warriors are wearing the best weapons and armor we have. I kind of feel like I should be using this blunt, thorny warhammer. I'll tell you what, who's wearing that? Svatava. It's 
7 damage, 6 shielding, 4 dexterity. You get the Warhammer. What kind of rings can I give you to improve your armor? Those two. And buttons. So you got 35 armor. And of the warriors, I'm thinking maybe Snowbit will make another two-handed weapon user. We give him that two-handed sword. Hang on, you can actually use that with a shield, can't you? You can. Pair it with that. Loads of dexterity he's got. His dexterity is 12. I'm getting the feeling that I shouldn't actually be chucking all my dexterity onto one person. His attractiveness. Thirty armor, twenty-two damage. So these two are decent fighters. Zoska, what's the best I can do for you? Seven and one. Seven and nothing. A regular black sword. There's got to be something better for you than that. Aha! Sword of darkness. Shield. A pavis. Yes, good quality pavis. What about jewelry? Hmm? Just perception. Someone's missing gathering tools. Bogodara, you need a weapon and some armor, love. Stealth. Piercing damage. Yeah, that's fine. Echo Slavo is another staff for you. Three armor, dexterity. Pola. So three armor, two armor, and one dexterity. I'll go for the dexterity. Just going to say, is there maybe a third staff? Doesn't look like it. I reckon I'll break that down, you know. I want to I wanna get hold of that uh, Silver and Dragon Bone. I think it's worth more to me in resource form because the, the damage numbers on it are so low. I'm sure it's got Leech, but only three Leech. I don't think it's going to do enough. I don't think it's worth it. Ten Quartz. Am I ever going to use an 11 damage stone Warhammer? Maybe. No, it's too heavy. I can use that Quartz. That's not going to be usable. It's fine, it's fine. Just checking if everyone's loadout before we head out. We need a weapon for you. Armored arm? Why not? Gives you some damage and some shielding. Yep, poison swords? Why not? Zofia. How about a pavis and a poison sword? Interesting how if you use dogwood and amber, it's three damage, six shielding. But if you use quartz, it's four damage and five shielding. That's too heavy, is it? Of course, the, the quartz makes it a lot heavier. That makes sense. I think we can junk that training sword now. Maybe even the short sword. The Amethyst sword, sword definitely, it's very heavy and it's pretty crap stats. What about my crafters? Your job is just to craft. Okay, expedition time. We'll take out our hunter. We'll take out one, two, three warriors. We only need to leave three gatherers in the village. And, yep, we'll leave the two crafters, and then we'll leave the medic to help them fight. That's a seven-person squad. I wonder if I don't... Uh, maybe thinking of leaving or bringing the medic along, but I've got to leave at least one medic in the village. Let's give you a month worth of wood. Much prepared food as we can. It's only nine days worth. I'm just guesstimating how much you need here. 28 days worth. So you need 14 of this to bring you up to an even 30, I think. Perfect. Okay. And we'll give you 
10 herbs. All right, and then there's lots more crafting materials. The good thing is that I feel like my crafters are going to be able to do work now. Here's a thought. Do I maybe just quickly pick up dark wood, and then I can harvest some dark wood and combine it with the steel and the mithril we found to make some pretty sick weapons. Or do I hold out and build the palisade to defend my village? The manger, keep attracting animals. Train your people in animal kinship while they remain within the bounds of the village. Tough choice. I think I've built enough structures. As much as I like the manger, the fact that all my other structures are giving me a plus attracted beast, that make, doesn't make it worth it. Increases the magic skill. Children can grow up to be the witch class. That's a nice one, but I don't have two skill points. And I, I don't actually know what that is. I'm going to go get some dark wood. I want some proper weapons. And there's some dark wood pretty close. Do we all have gathering tools? Nope, Polar, you don't have gathering tools. Ah, I see. I moved a crafter out of here. But that's fine. Okay, expedition. Start clearing up all of these little uh, irritating beasties all around the village. Nice. Bow and arrow. Better than nothing. Let's make sure our hunter. Bramblewood bow. You don't have the weight for it. You might do. Excellent. Bite them. What is this? Two fat rats and four hulking rats. Let's do a normal combat. I want to give these the best of the best team we have here a bit of a chance. Let's see how they fight. That's actually pretty scary, that rat. Uh, are these guys going to go in front of him? In the attack order, I think they are. Sweet. That's almost tempting just to invest heavily in pike weapons and have everyone use pikes. Just give them the best pikes you can because they'll always be able to jump in, do damage, and attack before them. Super, super tempting. Now, I do need to shield these guys, or at least my lever. I kind of got that wrong. It should have been Motisuda, Shield Ally, Malova, Shield Ally. Sasuke. And then I can first action. This is great. We get to strike first. I like these fast attack, fast strikes type of, uh, type of tactics. Can't first action him, but I can shield him. I could also confuse one of these, but I don't think that's particularly worth it. Instead, I'm going to support him with extra damage, because I don't think it's worth it getting her in there if she's not going to be in the first fight round. Keen to see how this plays out. Yeah, man, using piercing weapons is really, a, really amazing. Just the fact that you get to jump in the front of the uh, the, the round, the attack order, it's really, really good. It seems to offset the uh, the reduced damage of the pike. So, 8 armor. Excellent. That's 11, 16, 7. So, 8 armor. Nope, don't have the weight for it. Don't have the weight for it. Amazingly, he has the weight for it. Hmm. I give you that pervis that weighs a bit less than I can give you that armor. 
This is Oscar. You can probably carry the heavier pavis. Excellent. Yeah, 900 weight. Not a problem at all. And we've got another metal ring for armor and gathering. Ooh, here we go. Armor. Armor. Onward. Should I do the cosmic tree and the divine quest? Or no, I want to do smithy. The suspicious tower. Place to see is going to give us resources. Now I'm going for Darkwood. Oh, damn, getting distracted here. Yeah. Okay, we can go up there and hit that Darkwood in the way back. What do our troops look like here? How much damage do we have? Not a whole lot. 9 damage. 9 damage. 12 damage. We need that palisade. I just worry now about having my main expedition move so far away. There has been an increase in vermin in your village over the last few days. Damn it. You dealt with the rodents, but your wise ones tell you they were not healthy. Just as they feared, your men begin to fall ill one by one, and soon the whole village is affected. Have the medic and the herbs. Try to beat your the thing. Village medic has their hands full, totally fine. Thanks to the supply of herbs, they are able to battle. Fight the sickness, auto resolve. It's only a one skull. Easy. Until every man, woman, and child was tended to. Their vigorous attack on the sickness paid off, and everybody is back on their feet in no time. Now is that permanent or? It is sweet. For fifteen herbs, totally worth it. Very glad I'll, I've got that herbalist. We got that herbalist hut in a nick of time. Okay, second little break. When we come back, we'll be cleaning up some spiders, these rat layers, the small hives. We'll go do the smithy. I forget what his instructions were. With the smithy, are we going to be negotiating with that? Uh, uh, oh yes, we have to try to convince that demon to go out with the, with, with the dwarf. I think I've done that, uh, that, that quest once before. And she asked you to go find some children for her and she's going to like do something horrible to the children. I'm kind of feeling like I might actually betray the dwarf and just take the children instead. I feel like the children is going to pay off, are going to pay off way more for us than any armor or weapons we might get from the dwarf. I think that's the right way to go. All right, cool. When we come back, off to the smithy. <laughs> 